The Hema Committee report was a catalyst for many other film industries to also demand an IC and a comprehensive investigation into possible sexual harassment, sexual abuse that was taking place for many years. But here in the Kannada film industry, there has been a lot of resistance, particularly by male directors, producers and other powerful men. In a meeting that was held, there was in fact shouting down of women who tried to speak up about their personal experiences of harassment. What is the way forward? What is really happening in the Kannada film industry? To answer all these questions, I will be in conversation with Kavita Lankesh, a filmmaker who's worked for over 25 years in the industry. But before we go across to her, a quick request from all of us. I'm sure you have been following our coverage on the HEMA committee report and the fallout of, uh, of that for the last couple of weeks. If you like our journalism, if you appreciate what we do, then do become a PayTNM subscriber. If you're already one, then make sure that you ask your friends and family also to become members. Well, there was an important meeting yesterday that was held to discuss the possibility of constituting a posh. Yeah. Uh, from what we heard, there was a lot of resistance uh, by, by a large section. What happened in that meeting? Basically, again, I think the women representation was very less. Uh, I mean, they gave the excuse that uh, it was a last minute and all that. But I don't think uh, they had approached or they even uh, corresponded with any of the technicians mm -hmm. or junior artists mm -hmm. or dancers association, president of each of them. Yeah. They just uh, contacted a few handful of artists, I think. And uh, that's all who turned up. Mm -hmm. And the male domination was so much as, uh, as usual in the film industry. Mm -hmm. They overtook and they just didn't allow any of us to have a word edgewise. Mm -hmm. And the worst thing was that uh, they, they are, any time a woman speaks, I think, there's always a diversion tactics. This was the whole uh, meeting was organized, was called by the women commissioner, women welfare yeah. commissioner. And her issue is only to uh, concern is only about women's issues. Right. But the men in the industry started talking about the industry losses, the distribution process, the all kinds of. So to talk, to, for us to get a talk in, we would say, wait, it's not the topic they're talking. No, let me finish. So it went on like that. And then, of course, it got a little more, more uh, you know, uh, volatile. When men who are completely against the forming of any committee at all, because they, according to them, everything is very hunky dory, everything is very safe and sound, and for the women. So I don't know what kind of uh, paradise they are living in, but I, I wish it was true. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's it's I, I know for a fact it's not. But it's also this <clears throat> that if there is a committee form, what is the problem? Why are some of them so fearful? If yeah. if it is all well as yeah. they say, yeah. then they should in fact come forward and say, let's uh, you know put it on record, yeah. right? I, I'm sure if there is a, an investigation yeah. and if it is all fine, it will yeah. reflect that. They don't want the investigation because they say it's a waste of time and this the whole thing, thing has been initiated by fire, mm. which yes. is completely which is true. We do take responsibility. We yeah. did start it yeah. as a concern for women in the industry and their welfare being looked at. Mm -hmm. It's not just about me too movement. You're also talking about physical harassment, verbal harassment, mm -hmm. or some kind of snide remarks, mm -hmm. you know, uh, downing a woman for her size or anything like that. Yes. Her looks, her complexion, you know how it is. In. You know, I mean, there's still people called Kariya, Darky, like that. Okay. That's the kind of yeah. society we live in. And they, you know, and women always feel insecure in the mm -hmm. whole thing if they do that. Mm -hmm. And that has to be looked into. And also facilities such as toilets, mm -hmm. basic toilets. Women are working from 8 to 10 in the night sometimes. Are there toilets there? Mm -hmm. Are there like facilities to change the sanitary napkin if they yeah. want to change? Yeah. These are some basic requirements as a human, as a woman. And you're saying that's not there currently? It is not there. Nothing is there. Right. So there's been no committee. And the committee which they apparently are, Sandana committee in mm -hmm. the That means it's a grievances committee within the industry. Sandana also means it's a, uh, getting to people to uh, compromise, yeah. right? At basically, the end of the that's day. what yeah. happens. Yeah. It's basically a compromise. Yeah. Whenever you go with anything, Suppose there's a delay in payment, you go to them, they'll say, no, we'll talk to them. Mm -hmm. And he'll say something else, see, producer had so much loss, so you adjust. Everybody yeah. has to adjust, everybody has to compromise. We also understand, mm -hmm. it's a difficult industry, mm -hmm. it's an artistic industry. Yeah. It's not given that if you put in so much like, like a manufacturing unit, this right. much output will come. So it's of not course, like yeah. that. So in the film industry, all across the world mm -hmm. is like that. Yeah. It's a big gamble. Some of the best films might not run. Yeah. Some of the worst films have run. So you never know. But having said that, we are talking about solely about women's issues, you know, safety for women. Mm. So that, of course, they were also scared that the industry itself will stop if you form a committee like Why that. Why is that? Because financial constraints, I believe, because every, well, every woman, 
or some of the women can come and make a false allegation. Mm -hmm. What I, we did, they didn't give us the opportunity to say this. Mm -hmm. What the whole committee's purpose is that mm -hmm. to look into if it's a false allegation in a speedy manner. See, if it goes to a regular court, it takes forever and ever. A committee which is respected, what we had uh, given uh, Sidrama as a CM, yeah. sir, also was the same thing that there should be a committee formed with maybe a, perhaps a retired judge and a woman activist, a writer, or a woman from the film industry. My suggestion was let people, couple people from the chamber also be there. Yeah. Because we don't want distance here. I'm a chamber member. Yeah. I've been in this industry for the last 25 years. And of course, in, a chamber has been there for us in terms of registering our title. You know, because somebody else may register the same title. Those kind of things which we need. And by, as a body, it's okay. But as a woman's thing, not much has been happened because solely dominated by so many men there. They always tell a woman, forget it, compromise. Yeah. The one single case we had gone last time mm -hmm. with the Shruti Hari Hari, mm -hmm. their, their solution was to shake hands. Wow. Both of them, the accused and the mm -hmm. <laughs> victim, to shake hands and finish it. Uh, how can a victim who is sane, somebody as well as Tedder or allegedly mm -hmm. Muslim, whatever it mm -hmm. is, the least you can have a dialogue. If things have happened accidentally, maybe they should say sorry or say yeah. it didn't mean to happen. Mm -hmm. Even that was a big problem. So they, show, they just want to brush uh, everything aside, brush yeah. it under the carpet and move and on. And keep the women in the same sta status quo mm -hmm. from right. how it used to be. Mm -hmm. There was one man who was saying, a cameraman or somebody there, earlier the senior artists, if when we go to a village or something, we would shoot, there was no place to change. Mm -hmm. Two people would hold a sari and in between she would change the sari. Fine, it was great. Even we have done it in our, you know, and we shot in some remote mm -hmm. villages, forests and things like that. And the the artists have been very accommodative because we have worked with artists yeah. who understand the situation. And that time, of course, in the last 10 years, when I had made films, some films films like that in a forest and all, there was no need, we didn't have caravans. First of all, even our light generator wire couldn't go up yeah. on the hill, you know, so there's no question of caravan coming. So, of course, the artists were all from theater, mm. who were all uh, passionate actors. They cared for the role more than this thing. Yeah. But now the difference has become too much. Every star or a supporting actor has a caravan, mm -hmm. which is great. Mm -hmm. But what about the rest of them? Mm -hmm. At least do they have one toilet for them to share? Right. Some 20 of them to go and pee if they mm -hmm. want to. Mm -hmm. But in your experience... Uh, they are saying, let them go, they will go somewhere. Some bailo bailo, some pay mm -hmm. road, they will go and go pee. What's the problem? Why are you demanding? I, I, These are basic human rights. Yes. And they don't, they don't want to even talk about no, it. No, they don't want to talk about that either. Forget me too. That <laughs> but in your experience, you have heard of uh, women being treated differently. Like you said, there have been cases of... Absolutely. When we started fire them. itself, we got a lot of uh, people complaining mm. how they were d done casting couch mm. and somebody sends his uh, private parts photograph right. to this, you know, uh, mm. wanting to be an actress, aspiring actress. Mm. So she come, come complained to us. Mm. So but to address it, we need a body and a leg legitimate this thing from the government yeah, also. Yeah. So see, we don't want power in that. We don't want mm. to, fire is not seeking power and saying we are the greater, we'll sit there and conduct uh, yeah. research or, you know, solve the problems. You know, we want to, have, they, we want to, we are requesting for a body of committee which can address the grievances. See, we are a long way in solving issues. Right. We oh. at least want to, women to voice their problems mm -hmm. and somebody to hear it out and hopefully it can be sorted out, you know. Yeah. But uh, after the HEMA committee report, yeah. uh, the focus was on Malayalam film industry. Yes. But would you say that by and large, I'm sure you've seen bits and parts of the report. Yes, yes, yes. Would you say that the same problems exist in Kannada film industry? Every too? industry it exists. I'm not saying this Kannada. It's mm -hmm. all across the industries, across this thing, mm -hmm. across television channels, mm -hmm. which is supposed to be bigger, more bigger casting couch. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. because there are a lot more women working there. Right. And like a, a man, if there's a movie, uh, there may be two or three, or if it's a good family film, some 10, 20 characters, yeah. there'll be 100 villains, 100 fighters, things like that. So they're always male dominated. Mm -hmm. So, of course, it's there across the country and across, I mean, from Harvey Weinstein, you know, it's like everywhere across the world. But people have spoken up there. Yeah. Here, we still fear to speak up, I think. Why is that? Because they, they, immediately a victim is victimized more. Mm. She's tarnished, her image is tarnished. She is the one who is not right. Mm. Today, I was speaking to an actor, mm. actress, and she was telling me how she went, she, she didn't get any payment mm. for 15 days of work. And immediately, we are going to say that you are a problem to work with. So, and then somebody, why problem is she'll come late or fuss mm. on the sets. These are the kind of things they'll immediately associate. Mm. 
and also character assassination. Mm. So they'll make sure she's out of the industry quickly. So if you speak up, then yeah. you don't get so to be in the industry. So it's not just for glamour, according to all these producers who think not glamour, not this thing women come to. So mm. Many of them are passionate about acting. Many are interested in the craft of the mm. film. So why, just like a man is, just mm. like anybody is, you know, yeah. I mean, I'm not interested in making it just glamorous that it's not that, it's not about that at all. When people, students tell me, madam, it's a very glamorous industry. We are very short in slums. We are short in for, I mean, with leeches and mosquitoes. And it's crazy. It's not glamorous at all, according to yeah. me. So yeah, in the scenes, it's not that A director's chair was there, but we never sat in it. We were always in the monitor, running to the actors, mm -hmm. guiding. So it was, the chair is just there. It's not like, or it's not yeah. at all glamorous. But these people think that's what they come for, especially the artist. Right. Which is not true, I think. I want to look at some of the excuses uh, that the men in the industry, a section of the men in the industry have given. Yeah. One is that it'll, having the ICs or posh committees yeah. will cause financial loss. Yeah. I didn't quite understand what the connection Even I be. did. But basically, I think and mm -hmm. assume you should ask one mm -hmm. of them. But I think they're saying a uh, woman might make an allegation, mm -hmm. false allegation, mm -hmm. the film will stop. But that things can go simultaneously. Yeah, it can. So I don't know why they're saying that. Okay. So, or it will be a long drawn process according to them. I think logically I'm thinking mm. like that. According to them, I don't know. Okay. So how, as I said, a woman voices out, mm. everything will be a problem. Right. Including financial loss. It's not like they're having great time, which is a miserable time for the Canada industry right now. Every week, there's a minimum loss of 20 crores. Mm -hmm. If I think two to three crores per film, right. which is a low budget film, right. 20 crores going down the drain. Mm. No film is standing. Mm. You know, that is the problem they have to address. Mm. And not because a woman raises her voice. Right. <laughs> no. Another excuse they gave is they don't want outside people coming and judging them, which is why they said no to judicial inquiry. Yeah. They said as an industry, we will do what is required. What have they done so many years? Right. And if it's a judicial inquiry, why not? Mm. If it's an ex-judge who is impartial yeah. and who is pro-women's rights because they don't know any rights about women. Mm. They have no clue as they are saying we should change, according to them, change or pee in the roadside. Mm. That's what they're saying. Mm. They don't have the uh, weird, uh, vaguest idea of what is the rights for women. Right. I mean, even yesterday mm. when somebody pointed or an actress pointed out that we are all equal women and men, Ms. Nagarashmi, the commissioner mm. said, then Ambedkar wouldn't have written mm the rights in the constitution for women. So it's like saying for me, a Dalit is equal to an upper caste. Every day there's atrocities. Okay. How are you saying it's equal? And we have to come a long way still to mm. be equal. We have to be come a long way to be respected for our work and not just looks or, you yeah. know, yeah. we have, yeah. you know, till today as a technician, they say you make card films, you make small budget because you're a woman. So that's been the case for me from a long time and I'm tired of struggling. I'm tired of doing low budget films. Right. So I just rejected. I said, I don't want to work films like that. The Women's Commission has given a 15 day deadline. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we've already seen remarks by very influential producers, directors saying that we'll go, we'll call for a bund if, if you're forced to form a company. Great. That's another way of digging your grave. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you see because this going forward? Because as we are suffering, yeah. Canada is very suffering. The industries across actually, not many have had really blockbusters that yeah. way one or here. I mean, after KGF Kantara, a few films have made their money, I yeah. think, back. Some very few have run. There are 200 or more films being done in Canada every year. Yes. Out of that, if uh, 180 films flop, we're already in a problem. If they make a bun, it's still again dissociating people more from it. As it so is won't that cause are, financial loss? Yes, absolutely. It's bizarre, yeah. right? They should actually talk. And why? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Why the fear? You know, what are they scared yeah. of? Right. That's what should be addressed first. Do you see women coming up and speaking at least now? I think so, especially what Mrs. Nagarashmi uh, Chaudhary said, about, the commissioner said mm. about making a confidential survey mm. across women in the industry, mm. not just actors mm. from different people. I'm sure a lot of people have their own instances. Mm. Because there are two, three people who said yesterday in from 40 years, they have never faced any harassment, which is wonderful for them. I mean, I wish every woman could say that. Correct. If they do say that in the survey, I'm very happy. Mm. Our industry is as pious as they claim to, claim it to be. But um, I, I mean, from what I have seen itself, mm. for instance, uh, I made a film with uh, one girl doing a dance. I hate it called item number. She had a special appearance and she had some scenes yeah. in the film. And she actually came and told me we were shooting near Mysore outskirts mm -hmm. and we stayed there. Mm -hmm. 
and she came and told me madam i've never felt so safe and unharassed in any set except yours right so Which, i'm sure being a dancer yeah she would have been a propo- proposition from different men in different this thing i don't know what all happened mm. but if she had to feel safe and come and make a statement about it i can imagine what a state is in other films when she is working right so i and apart, this is a simple instance mm. many people across i know who have said mm. either it's for money or it's harassment or being probably a, a, a accused mm. of abuse like that it's happened across so sexual harassment is rampant in the industry i mean everywhere i think mm. every industry it's there mm. yesterday journalists were telling yeah, young yeah. girls madam please talk about journalists in the absolutely. industry we have had such problems here absolutely i said of course i'll talk and i mm. talked about it's across yeah and it's also must be there and it is there yeah but there's a, you can't put a blindfold and say it's not there at all right that's what the some people in the chamber are doing ma'am as fire and yeah. and i know that you have to go so i'm going to wrap it up after yeah. this so as fire if they do not allow ics to be formed yeah. uh in the next 15 days or yeah. whatever the deadline is what would you what would your next move be no i think according to nagalakshmi ma'am what she said was it according to rule mm. according to the law mm. a committee has to be formed mm. there's no way to abort it and if they can't do they have to give reasons within 15 yeah. days and they will be working against the law if they mm. don't do that you see so i i'm not he's not a threat it's not that for the welfare of the women yes. for the goodwill for the good uh, healthy environment of, in the industry mm. it's important that they do it and if they don't do it i think it comes from the commissioner itself we don't have to do much mm-hmm. but she will take action i think and you can file a case which yes. is going to be a horrible this thing for the yes. industry it will make national wide news which they should understand we should understand mm-hmm. and uh, i think our pressure of our from fire our pressure is still on mm-hmm. including who's going to be in the committee mm-hmm. because they can't put again a handful of chamber people it will be back to square one that's not our intention there should be people from across the strata of society here who are going to be very uh, ethical mm-hmm. uh, very disciplined about and also know the rights of them to speak right see many of us don't even know their what what our rights are yeah we assume it's okay we, mm. you know like that we are always even in the home environment yeah. we are like that even in our work environment we are always the adjusting type yeah. we do multitask and we say we are proud of it why should we you know we should we made a virtue out of yeah, it yeah it's crazy so mm. that itself to think that process in our brains to change the way yeah. we perceive things how we do things that is a long way to go right. and fire is going to keep up its fight and spirit it's not i wouldn't call it a fight i would call it a momentum i would call it an ambition mm-hmm. to make things safe for women right. so that will continue i think right thank yeah. you so much for speaking to us and we do hope at some point better sense prevails thank you thank you i <laughs> hope so too <laughs>